there's more, there's more. There's always so much more to look at and take in and be inspired and more. And so the time flows by and more. And so my thoughts unite with strangers' thoughts. And so my eyes unite with strangers' eyes and all collapse together and take root, becoming inspiration, paralysed. There's more. And so the more takes root and more. And so my thoughts become creative thoughts. And so my eyes become absorbent cloths, just seeing what they're shown, not looking past to action from obedience. But still, ideas spark, pretending to be sparks, though only channeled from my spongy eyes and redirected into yet more clicks. There's more. Of course there's more. There can't be less in formats purely additive like this. I see what's done is all that can be done. The gaps, an accident of having missed a bit. So anything I ever make can never be more than another bit. You might guess where I'm heading to right now. Said bit becomes a part of someone's more, turns into inspiration as before, and such encounters seem to be the law of creativity. I'm not a film guy, but Joel Haver made some weird and cool ones which found me last night because Man Carrying Thing mentioned his name, and he was recommended me because of Daniel Green, I guess, who talked about some books I read, and them I only read because Demon Tomato Dave did first. And if it hadn't been for Proton John, who sang bits of Not Roy, I'm pretty sure, while playing a rom hack made for a quick laugh. A chain of youngish, middle-class white blokes. What can I say? My thoughts are not my own. 